Let's talk about parameters and variables. Starting with parameters. In parameters, you specify which values you can input when deploying the resources. That means you have the option to specify which values are configurable when the template runs. So when the script runs, the script will let you input certain values like usernames, passwords, domain names, or any other properties that would be unique for every resource or every virtual machine. So any value that we do not have to reuse during the template is a parameter. So this will give the user an option, an opportunity to input that particular value into the script. If you take a look at this particular parameter called admin username and admin password. Now these values will not be same for all the virtual machines in the organization. And hence, the administrator must input those values during the script creation. So script pauses for that time, waits for the admin's input to type the attributes like admin username and admin password in this case, and then the script moves forward. Variables, on the other hand, are values that will be passed on to all resources, and this would be reused during the script execution. So these values would be used throughout the template. For example, you might define a storage account name one time as a variable and then use that variable throughout the template. If the storage account name changes, you need to only update the variable once. Now here's an example that illustrates a few variables that describe networking features for a virtual machine. Variables like network name, address prefix, subnet name, subnet prefix, public IP name, these do not change for the infrastructure again and again. These only have to be hard-coded once and they continue to run as long as the script is executed. So these values will be passed on to the resource and can be reused as well during the VM creation.